his troubles very much derive from it not being a hereditary monarchy. Any upstart can be king and destroy his predecessor's legacy. The King of the Isles is a more symbolic position. That should change as well. A strong leader who wields true power. That is what the times require. Introduce me. This is my friend Geralt, and this is Berna, widow of the dear departed Bran. The Queen Mother. It's a pleasure to meet you, Geralt. You must forgive me. But on a day like today, I'm afraid I cannot indulge in my penchant for long conversations. Lovely outfit. You look... dashing. Thank you. You're... dazzling. <laughs> you know I really missed your candidness. I'm glad we're here together. <sighs> Don't like funerals. Don't like feasts. I know. You also dislike underdone meat and being teleported. But sometimes we must overcome our disgusts and prevail. We should mingle before they all get drunk. There'll be no talking to anyone then. Good thinking. I don't know what Krach wants, but when we meet with him we should have clear minds. I'm not gonna drink. Why dull my senses when I'm in such pleasant company? Do you plan to compliment me all evening? I plan to tell you what I think. May your rocks never crumble. What's this? It's, uh, Gary, do you think I donned an evening dress to show off for the seals? Just want to get some air. Oh well. Once you've aired out thoroughly, find me by the entrance to the feast hall. Greetings, White Wolf. I suspected you'd come by. Bah! <laughs> I was sure of it. Oh, uh, yeah? The best stocked armory in all Skellig is right here at Kerr Trulda Castle. Everyone knows it. I'll gladly see for myself. Take your time. Give them all a careful look. Looking for someone who can make me a master quality breastplate. Never known a master who wasn't a dwarf. Fergus, perhaps? Say he's holed up somewhere in Velen. What do you think? Who will be the next King of the Isles? Yalmar, clear as day. Lads brave and generous. And from Croc's own line. No better claimant. Wouldn't mind a look at your stock. Craft something for me, will you? Wouldn't mind a few rounds of cards.
snipers. Interested in the weapon? There's a tail behind every item I've got. This sword's hilt is made of meteorite steel. No. It's made from the heart of a fallen star. Whoever wields this sword will always find his way at sea. No matter how stormy the skies. But after a time it overwhelms its owner with sadness and longing for its starry home. And nothing, not even good fun and good company can cheer him up. What are you peddling? Got a diagram. Like you to craft something for me. Wouldn't mind a few rounds of Gwent.
brought for the farewell feast. Bread, sheep's milk cheese. Our wagon's full of loot we ripped from the black ones. We've also wine from the temple. Brand those swords, but I prefer me trusty axe. Lady Yennefer. Sir. Greetings, Arnvald. My companion is Geralt of Rivia. I am honored. Nice to meet you, too. Quite a few guests. They come to bid their king farewell. They come to see the claimants to the crown. We wanted to talk to Croc on Crate. The Jarl will join us shortly. He's assigned you a place of honor at the table just beside his daughter, Ceres. Follow me, please. They've seated us here. I asked them to. I wanted to meet the notorious Witcher Geralt. We've met. Don't remember? That was ages ago. Yalmer and I were children when you last visited Orda. But you should meet your face mates. Allow me the dubious honor. That's Halbjorn, son of Holger Blackhand. Blue boy Lucas, Madman Lucas' firstborn. And choking down a stockfish over there is Gautric on Hindar. Forgive me, I remember our meeting all those years ago, but I don't recall your name. Ceres on Crate. Crack, her da, and her big brother Yalmer call a Sparrowhawk. A Yal's daughter she is. Fat lot of good it doesn't. Ceres is jealous, for the one among us who performs the greatest feat will be crowned king. <laughs> we all know the feats are a sideshow. Our fathers will choose who will wear the crown. What do you think they spoke to Crack about? You talk like that because you're short of strength and skill. But remember when Hjalmar challenged us all to a race up the mount? You didn't stand with us then. As he buried his axe in that stump at the top to mark his victory, you were warming your chicken bones by the fire. Had my reasons for not participating, but I would have won then, as I'd win now. Hmm, now that you mention him, just noticed Hjalmar's not here. My brother walks his own paths. But about the race, why don't we repeat it? I'm willing to challenge any of you, Witcher included. If I beat him to the top, venture to say that'll be a feat, eh? So you're in. If the Witcher's in. Geralt? Gladly. What are the rules? Whoever pulls Hjalmar's axe from the stump at the top of the hill wins. Stray off the path and you lose. And here I was, ready to puke from all the boredom. Let's go! We're here. From this spot, you must reach the top of that mount. At the summit, you'll see the stump of an oak. Yalma's axe buried in it. Whoever pulls the axe from the stump first, wins. I'm ready. You'll start when I sound the horn. Show the little wench her place.
Behold, Hjalmar's ox! I beat the famous white wolf! <sighs> Congratulations. Let's go back. Be glad to tell everyone about your victory. See the wakes in full swing. Lost sight of you. Who won? Ceres, proving she's her brother Yalmar's equal in every way. She retrieved the axe from the cliff. Cannot be. Now I know why Yalmar named you Sparrowhawk. Enough of the nather and let's drink. Can't today, for good reason, believe me. But if not today, then when? You've been great company. Sadly, it's time we moved on. Really? Indeed. We must talk, but not here. You shall learn all beyond that door. Do you have no shame? Shame? Why would I? The cringe and joy of King on his last journey. Did you see it? The gods are not kind. Our miles are in for hard times. What are you? Allow me to introduce Geralt of Rivia, a witcher. Geralt, Jarl Donar and Hinder, and Jarl Madman Lugos. Calling Lugos a madman's an insult to madmen? He's a common goat fucker. Call me a goat fucker one more time, and I'll chop off your head, stick it on a pike, and piss down your neck hole. Enough! Time to settle this. Here and now. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Giving me a true freight right now. Shat my best trousers. Put that away before you cut yourself, you cunt. Settle this outside. Who the fuck are you to advise me, eh? Someone with better manners. You insult Bran's memory and Crack's hospitality with this. Emperor would be very pleased to hear you quarrel. His Imperial Majesty is more than welcome to visit. Let him sail over here. We ain't afraid of the Black Ones. Raiding coastal villages is one thing. Total war with the Empire is another. Awfully moody, this one. Go stir your cauldron and pierce some boils, witch. Don't talk when you haven't got a fucking clue. Know what, Lugos? Just realized I don't give a damn about your hallowed rules of hospitality. Finally, some doink version. And here I was ready to puke from all the boredom. Come on, freak. Show us what you're made of. Move the benches. There's to be some gob slapping. That's enough of that. <sighs> Had enough? Ah, oh, oh, you got me good. That were quite a wallop. Still seeing spots, room, rocking like a leaky tub in a hurricane. We'll call it even then, as soon as you apologize to the lady. Don't hold it against me, my lady. It's my deep conviction, sorceresses are needed. Deeply so. No offense taken, forget about it. That I like. And the knocking, it's what men do. Give me your paw, Witcher. Let me squeeze. It's a worthy one. Witcher, have a drink with me. Proof there's no hard feelings. And visit me at times, I insist. Yaren's been jabbering about bringing in a Witcher for that haunted lighthouse. Do me a favor, meet him for an ale in the tavern near Arenbjorn. Then you've but a short jaunt to find me, so as we can knock back something stronger. Here's to our next.
No hard feelings, but we'll have to drink another time. Yes. We've important discussions ahead. You land rats are all the same. Fear do you wenches! What now? Now we pay a visit to Ermion's laboratory. Didn't know we'd been invited. Because we've not been. We shouldn't be breaking into Ermion's workshop. If I didn't know you better, I'd say you needed to grow a pair. But I know that you simply enjoy complaining. It's the only reason you said that. Why would we go there? To retrieve an item. The Mask of Erberos. We need it and therefore must steal it. <laughs> right. Of course. Come, Geralt. Now you'll tell me why you need this mask. Oh, I shall. In due course. Take it, you'll decide when. Correct. Behind the tapestry. Sparrows chip. While starlings chirp. What do jackdaws do? Jackdaws call. Goldfinches warble and cranes whoop. Brass peacocks screech. Hawks scream. Larks trill and doves they coo. That's all of them. Hmm. What about nightingales? All right. Nightingales croon. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> This will be tough to open. Surprises never end. See the ravens? Hard not to. Ermion spies. An indication that we're near his laboratory. They also sense a clear magic aura. Come, there's a ledge outside this window. We must pass along it. sights in my life. Geralt of Rivia, being romantic. can render a man mysterious, fascinating. Especially a druid. Must be a real nature lover. Had one at Kaer Morin. <laughs> Please. Looks alive. A hundred loose an arrow if you saw that in the woods. Of water. For teleprojection, a reflection of Ermion appears on the surface. Supplicants speak to it. Ah. 
Are you all right? Cut myself. The door is locked. The animals, they're alive. Yen, watch out. Monsters. Feeling. Coming closer. They're everywhere. What's happening? You were hallucinating. You ran at Ermion's animals, sword flailing. I had to calm you. Uh, must have looked strange. Your years of vigorous training at Kaer Morn finally paid off. Bested nearly all the stuffed beasts in here. Please. <laughs> Fine. We've passed the trial of taxidermy. The door stands open. Let's go inside, Geralt. I'll lock the entrance. We don't want to raise suspicions. Ah, our dear druid's laboratory. We must search it thoroughly. The mask of... Letter Wondrous bearing Hermione's seal to the druids Ritual warns plant. them about you. Ah, what do you know? Raymond Marlove, a biography enhanced. Seems Hermione has real tobacco brought in. Skelliger's tales about the wild hunt. The islanders believe the wraith sail on a longship built of the claws of dead men. Dwarven triple mead. Goes in for light reading, too. The Corpse of Novigrad by Sasha Hadi. Laboratory worthy of an Imperial alchemist. A goat carved out of lindenwood, signed to Uncle Ermion. Little Ciri's handiwork. That's what she called him when he was her tutor. A sword in a stone. Things begging me to pull it out. It's not in the stone, don't you see? It's held there by a vice. Skull. Ermion's wand. He's one of the few druids to use one. Pinecone. Didn't expect this. A large female. Look at this. A detailed map of the Northern Kingdoms. Even shows spheres of influence over the ages. Out of date. Looks like Ermion places something in the statue's hand. What do you say we give it a pine cone? Hmm, 
Nothing. So, statue, how about a skull? Hmm. Guess you're no indecisive prince. How about a mug of mead? Statue or not, everybody needs a drink sometimes. Huh. Seems like it worked. Who would have thunk? Ermion enjoys jests achieved at the expense of others. I have a sneaking suspicion the mask will be in here. Yes? Geralt, come here! I found the mask! Yes? This is it! We've got it! We must return to the feast quickly before... <laughs> Still closed. Gotta think of something quick. Yes? The damn druid will poison us. This vapor's deadly. We've got but a few minutes. Teleport us out of here. Think of something. Quickly. First thing to come to your mind. Hold on tight. Wait a minute, I must mend it. You know how to sew. Please, I'll enchant a needle. talk to Krak. Why? Think he misses us? Because I missed you. I missed you too.
When are you gonna finally burn this piece of junk? My heart couldn't take it. So many memories. Damn it, Geralt. Do you have any idea how much they cost? Come here. We gotta hurry. Croc's waiting. Is that so? I know you. I let go, you throw us off. <laughs> Don't even try. My, oh my. Missed you. I missed you too. We ought to get back to the wake. I must dress. Turn around. Asked about you. We went out for a breath of fresh air. <laughs> the claimants to the throne will step forth in a moment. Now heed my words. There is no greater act of valor than to fight a beast cursed by men and gods. No greater deed than that done to serve the goddess. Words of uncommon beauty. We thank you. We'll take them to heart. But now, let's begin. We have seen Bran off to the beard, and must now choose his successor. The king must be wise. The king must command respect. A king must have bollocks. We have no lack of men like that. Let those who feel worthy of the throne of Skellige step forth! son could not be here this day. Behold his axe! Behold his will! May the best man a woman win! What's got into her? She's your daughter, is she not? Now I know why she said she'd sail to speak her of. Ah, children! The older they grow, the more trouble they are. Come with me. All the more essential we talk now. How was it, Geralt, when Ciri was nearing womanhood? I remember well her nan, her mother, what they were like. They say the apple doesn't fall far from the tree. Siri was impossible to control, no telling her what to do. Had to have things her own way almost always. Why do you ask? No specific reason. 
She and Ceres, they're of a similar age. But we'll speak of my children later. First, let's speak of yours. Yennefer claims Ciri's in trouble, and you seek her. That's right. If you require aid, gold, ships, anything, merely say the word. I'll give you all I can. And I know the last lives. I'm sure of it. When the blood of Rhiannon's daughters is shed, the sea grows white with fury. I'd mark such a storm. magic anomaly on Ord Skellig somehow related to Ciri, or so Yennefer believes. It's my strong suspicion, but I can only know for certain by examining the site. I saw the twisted forms, right unnatural. The druids were barely able to contain it. Explain to me, Yennefer, how Ciri might have caused this great catastrophe. I'm intent on learning that very thing. Which I will do as soon as Ermion stops hindering my investigation. Don't concern yourself with him. Druids have little trust for mages. But Ermion's heart is in the right place. Am I right to assume he does not know you seek Ciri? It's of no concern to him. As I thought. At any rate, art Skellig's my isle. You have my permission to investigate as you see fit. Thank you. No need. I swore an oath once. I aim to keep it. Anvil! Tell the druid I must speak to him. At the usual spot. I've one more matter to broach. My children. You remember Yalma? Well, he swore an oath to kill the giant of Unthik. Set off and has yet to return. But as Ceres announced, that she's to set off on an adventure of her own. Got it in her head that Udalric is not mad, but cursed. Giants. They have been extinct for ages. Anyone actually seen the one on Undvik? Aye. Dozens of refugees have. The giant drove everyone off the isle. I've welcomed what remains of Clan Tordorach here on Ardskelleid. I heard a rumor that an unnatural frost gripped Undvik before the giant appeared. It's true. At any rate, Yalmar decided to kill the giant and give the isle back to its people. A deed worthy of a king, he believes. My son gathered a hearty crew at the new port. They were to sail to Unvik, then travel on foot to Oska, the village. But that many lads should have killed the giant long ago. Thus, I thought to ask you. You should start at the new port. Ask around. Hjalmar might have told someone there his plans. Take it Ceres wants to lift the curse. There's no curse to speak of. Ceres has decided she must match Hjalmar and sort out a deed worthy of a queen. Think she might need my help? You did plan to ask me for it. Why? The thing is, I don't trust Udalric further than I can spit. Ceres won't listen to me. Or her brother yet confronted by a professional who will explain why she's mistaken, she just might come to her senses. So, yes, I ask that you explain things to her and bring her back. Can't help wondering. Got no plans to vie for the crown yourself? Think a good number of the Jarls would support you. A good number? Those opposed would be fierce, rabid. Madman Lugus would sooner see an elf guardian on the throne. Besides, a man should know when to step aside. Hand the tiller to the youth among us. If either Yalmar or Ceres need help, I'll help them. I thank you. Now that we're done thanking one another, let's get to work. We must determine if Ciri is still on Ardskellig. I'll change into travel attire and find you. Head south. The anomaly we should investigate destroyed a stretch of forest along the shore of the bay. A successful feast on all counts, Krak. I will see you later.
As Yennefer of Bengerberg told it, there had been a magic explosion in Skellige. Related to Ciri's reappearance, it had destroyed a vast swath of forest. Geralt set out for the Isles to join the sorcerers and seek further clues of Ciri's whereabouts. The druid Ermion, however, had no intention of letting Yennefer examine the woods, so Geralt and Yen sought out Jarl Kraken Krait, who helped break down the druid's resolve.